If a romantic relationship is no longer an option, it was never an option, it doesn't mean he's lost something, but rather he's gained a valuable friendship. Not true. <laughs> that is not true. Come on, chat GBT. Women will use men and they won't lose a bit of sleep about it. In a relationship? Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Well, you talking. say yeah, you we're say talking. no. We are we are not in a relationship. No. Okay, I guess we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Miscommunication here. No, perfect communication. He's actually just an acquaintance. I like I like only recently like met him like two weeks ago. It was love at first sight, but she's shy. She needs time to like build into it. That's what I think. Oh, no, I don't. Why does the friend zone exist? <laughs> For losers who are meant to be there. Hey, would you say he's in the friend zone? Yes, I do have a boyfriend. Oh, you do have a yes, boyfriend. Not him. Just because there's a goalie doesn't mean he can't score. <laughs> Are you guys that dude's young? He will eventually learn, and hopefully, that time is right now on the internet for everyone to see. This is an average looking woman, which is okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But the point is, is that he's confused, he thinks that's his girl, is not, and uh, she's using him for whatever he, whatever value he provides that is not sexual, no physical attraction at all. Run. What would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? Oh, good. Question. Oh, good. This is a good, good question. We've, we've, we've this. gone over this, so I say a four. Four. Yeah. Why a four? There's a lot of room for improvement. And yeah. what would you rate your bestie over here? You can be honest. I don't mind. Seven point eight. And what would you rate your boyfriend? Uh, a, a solid eleven. What happened to the whole ugly guy act? Women, women love, love ugly men. Ugly. He's literally not ugly. He's six five, very large, very nice. That's a big one v one you got yeah. going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy in the jacket still doesn't get it. She's now told him at least five times. But you see the way she started talking about the her boyfriend? I don't think that's her boyfriend. She might be getting uh, banged out by that dude. She's in the... She's not in the friend zone with that 6'5 dude. She's in the sex zone. That's the way it works. Women put men in the friend zone when they're not interested. Men, when they have a lot of options, they put women in the, in the sex-only zone. They'll treat you like, the, like you're his girlfriend. For an extended period of time. It could be a year. It could be two years. Eventually, he'll get tired of her and move on to the next girl. And then she'll say, well, where are all the good men? She's got one right next to her. Now, let's see what chat GPT, what advice will chat GPT give to this young man? Let's see. So there's the prompt that I gave it. Write a two-minute article for a woman who tells a man to his face that he's in the friend zone and she's not interested. Navigating the friend zone with honesty and respect. In the realm of romantic relationships, one of the most dreaded yet inevitable situations is the friend zone. It's a term that's been the subject of countless debates, discussions, and even memes. But what happens when a woman decides to be upfront and honest with a man, telling him that she's not interested in pursuing a romantic relationship? In a world where open and honest communication is crucial, this courageous act deserves a closer look. It's important to understand that the friend zone isn't necessarily a negative place. Yes, it is. It's not a cruel or hurtful action. Depends. Depends on the, the woman. But rather, a reflection of someone's feelings and interests. When a woman tells a man to his face that she sees him as a friend and not a romantic interest, it's a moment of transparency and honesty. I agree. So she should also stop. She should also say, I see that you're interested in me, but I'm not interested in you. So I'm going to stop wasting your time. This candid conversation is rooted in respect. Maybe. It's a way to acknowledge the importance of a person in your life who, while also setting boundaries. In fact, it can be a sign of maturity and emotional intelligence on both sides. By expressing her feelings honestly, a woman is giving the man the opportunity to understand her perspective and to make informed decisions about his own feelings. That's true. So what should a man do when faced with the reality of the friend zone? Firstly, he should appreciate the honesty and courage of the woman in question. It takes a lot of bravery to lay one's feelings on the line. She's not laying her feelings on the line. He is. Secondly, he should take a step back to reflect on his own feelings. Is he, is he content with maintaining a genuine friendship, it's not genuine, with this woman without expecting or pushing for more? Most men cannot. If so, that's a positive outcome for her, not for him. True, fr true friendships can be immensely valuable and long-lasting not when one party is using the other. And in a situation of unrequited love, it's not a true friendship. 
On the other hand, if the man's feelings run deeper and he's struggling to accept the woman's decision, he should also be honest about his own emotions. It's essential to communicate his feelings respectfully without pressure or expectation. I agree. If a romantic relationship is no longer an option, it was never an option. It doesn't mean he's lost something, but rather he's gained a valuable friendship. Not true. <laughs> that is not true. Come on, chat GBT. Women will use men and they won't lose a bit of sleep about it. Ultimately, the friend zone conversation can be a catalyst for personal growth and self-awareness. It teaches us to respect each other's feelings, to communicate honestly, and to cherish the friendships we have. But it's not a real friendship. In a world filled with complexities, a direct and honest conversation like this is a refreshing reminder of the power of clear communication and the importance of embracing different forms of love and connection. Really? In conclusion, being told you're in the friend zone is not a rejection, yes it is, but an opportunity to embrace a different type of relationship. <laughs> I don't know about all that. When approached with honesty, empathy, and respect, it can pave the way for deeper, more meaningful connections. So embrace the friend zone with grace and an open heart, and you may find the best relationships <laughs> often begin as friendships. Okay. This advice might have worked 50 years ago. It does not work now. If you are in the friend zone and she's made it clear, you need to move on with your life. Withdraw yourself from that woman. You don't even have to tell her why. But open and honest communication is important. All you have to say is, I understand that you're not interested in me, but I am interested in a romantic relationship with you. You know, I'm just paraphrasing. Keep it simple. Make it clear that you don't want to be just friends. And then you put it in, you put the ball in her court. Now, she's already made it clear that she's not interested. But uh, after you do that and she says, uh, oh, no, I just want to remain friends. I'm like, oh, that's not going to work for me. And you just walk away and you never talk to her again. 